All right, we're back. The day after the U.S. Open at Pinehurst. This feels like a like a real podcast where we're discussing the uh, we got a lot to talk weekly about weekly events <laughs> yes. yeah, we, right we, after they happen. Yeah. Recap. Well, <laughs> all of us were out of town last week. Yeah. As well. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how much of the tournament you guys watched. I, for me, it was just Sunday, and I'm assuming it's probably the same for for you guys as well. I, I know watched you, a good you, bit on Saturday. You went to the practice yep. round on Wednesday, yeah. right, Scott? Yeah, I went to the practice round on Wednesday. Got up at 2 a.m., flew out to Charlotte, then hopped on a uh, quick ride over to Pinehurst. Mm. Damn, it, we got there at drive. like at like 9:30. How far is the drive from Jacksonville? Six and a half, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we had a, a trip planned uh, to go play at Old Town on Thursday and Friday. Ooh, and our one. host, uh, Cami, Cami Ramirez, um, had a good friend, Nico Echeverria, yeah. get into the uh, to the Open. So when he qualified, we all sh- uh, changed our flights. So we go up and watch him on Wednesday. And, uh, mm. boy, this trip turned out to be awesome for for uh ramon bisconza as well really <laughs> Bump, bumped into him on the putting green um at about noon and uh he was about to wrap up his day and drive back to jacksonville and decided to come play come golf. Uh, a twilight 18 with us up there in winston and parlayed that how far <laughs> was that how far is that from like wednesday when you were at pinehurst it's, it's not close right i was like an hour and a half yeah, yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah, I didn't think it was close. We got there like three o'clock. Went off at four. Dude, that's the best time to play golf, especially in the summer. It's hot as fuck. You oh, get the sun going down. A little bit of relief for the back nine. The golden hour had yeah. a couple of. The, that's where you find it too. Had a couple of Teds. That the, is where uh, you find it. Yeah. This this drink they have there, it's their signature drink called the Ted at Old Town. Yeah, the, the guy behind the bar just grabs the Tito's and yeah. starts pouring. And has a con- has has a three and, minute conversation. And doesn't with it. stop. It's insane. <laughs> oh god, I feel sick thinking about it. Do they do the same thing at Tim Aquana? Uh I think they do with like Ooh, hot just, dogs just, and just the same cups. Yeah, oh. <laughs> well, Tim Aquana. They have a very similar logo. <laughs> I don't I don't know who came first, chicken or egg. There, but. yeah. Tim Aquana has the tomahawk, the frozen. Thing. That's it, the tomahawk. Mm. Uh, but no, Pine, Pinehurst. Nice. That was the first time I've been up there since oh, I, I saw Maddie play. You play just a totally, totally, played, totally yeah. different experience walking those grounds. I mean, um, it was just, it was one of the best run. It was like TPC. It was that big of a venue, that big of a uh, fan experience. It was, it was dialed in. Are they going to start having like more opens there? They're, Is that like an anchor site? And they're having it there well, every They seem to be years. going every 10 years. So it was 10 years ago. Then before that, it was nine years ago. And before That's that, it was five, six right? years ago. 99, 05, When's the next one? 29? Uh, I hope so it's, I it's just, it should Hold be on. there next year. I, <laughs> I, 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 next year she's, yeah, I'm a fan of the venue. One little tweak I would like to, to see, and we'll, we'll get into this when we dive into the tournament, but uh, I would like to see those bushy areas off the fairway a little more penal. A little bushier? Yes. Well, I um, think they are. Just I don't, man. There's no way they are because Bryson got away with murder <laughs> yeah, all that's, day long uh, on, You got to have that happen. Hold on. Though. But that's the guy who won, right? So yeah. You're looking at the top you know, 2%. Every other guy has been getting finger bang. Look, he did get lucky. But all right, you played in 14. What, what did you – so did I. What, who, who was – what did you shoot there? I got no clue what I shot. I probably missed the cut. I might have barely made the. I honestly have no you idea what I shot. Made the cut. Huh? Did well, you? Did you make no, the cut? No, I had heaps. Seventy-eight, seventy-four. Yeah, I, I enjoyed lines. Pinehurst. It's good course, though. Hard. Great, great. Intimidating. Great course. I, 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 uh, I enjoyed it more in 05 when, when it was. Yeah, I've heard you, you say that. If you missed the fairway, you kind of knew rough. what you were gonna get. Um. I mean, we saw a Keimer one going away in 14, but he also, you know, the different, I guess, here's my point. If you, you could if do you, it. If you miss the fairway before, like we saw Keimer on five the year he won. He missed the fairway to the left in the sand. He had a perfect lie and made eagle out of there. If you miss the fairway to the left there in mm. the, in, with Bermuda rough, you're chipping out and you got 220 in for your third. It's a different style mm-hmm. of golf, that's for sure, but. Just watching guys, you know, the the flag on Sunday was sort of an easy pin was on the right, and people hitting it eight foot right of the hole, and it rolls off. Like, that course just, you know, it's a cliche, but it, it hurts your feelings. Oh, into the green. You there's, good there's, shots there's no course better. Feelings. But, look, there's always an opportunity to get up and down, and 
Where Bryson won was like left of eight up and down. Yeah. I actually got up and down. I was 100 over, so I didn't give a shit. He just spin it to a foot. But like that was dead. He was in some shitty spots. That guy just... Obviously, he's flavor of the month now. He's been playing well. He's on the. He's doing all the social media stuff. But that guy just finds a way. It's. It was. He. he he's the most pro, entertaining. He, should, he, sh- he shouldn't have won that tournament. No, mm-hmm. I mean, right. Be, I, I'm not a four against, but like he was. In well, there was about three guys that had a chance there at the what, end too. What, what, what about what about Cantlay? I was watching my brother-in-law who doesn't understand much about golf. And he's like asking about like, oh, what does this mean anything? And I was like, oh, he's out of it. And I was like, hold on. He could par. If he holds this, <laughs> yeah. Rory misses and DeChambeau was under the fucking tree. I was like, right. oh, fuck, hold on. All of a sudden, he holds that one putt on 18. He's in it. And he missed the short one on 16 too. Mm-hmm. Like, it, he's got to be like, yeah, I should have won that. Mm-hmm. It felt like an old school, Rory, we, an old school U.S. Time. Open for me. Just the way it came down to the yeah. end. I haven't seen one where just I was on the edge of my seat. Yeah. Same. It yeah. was a great U.S. Open. So my brother, who doesn't play golf, doesn't know any of golf, we were watching. I was like, "Man, that was entertaining." He goes, "Yeah, that was intense." And I was like, "That's a good word, way to describe it." it like, very. Intense. It was old school. People were choking. Like, I feel like with equipment or whatever, or guys has been better, and you know, more through social media, feeling like they're a part of it at a younger age. There's been way less choking going on the mm-hmm. last like five. Well, if six LACC years. had the same type of greens that Pinehurst had, yeah, like look at that. Like, those no, things were no, so baked. No real choking going on there, and and McElroy just, I don't know, those like the putt on eighteen. Smiley was like, uh, left, oh, so what a terrible read. Hold on, he's like way. left center, but hold on, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not not defending, but left center. If he hits it straight, it, it could still go in. You can't defend he, it. He hit it outside left. Now, did he cut it? No, it looked like a broke. No, no, it, it that like, thing it, snapped off he, the world, and everyone and their mom knows that pin on eighteen is the easiest pin in the world. If you stay short of it, if you get long of it, it's like the biggest no-no on that course is going long of that pin on eighteen. You don't want that. Half the field was going to miss that putt Rory had on eighteen. It was brutal. And he, Four feet downhill, snapping, and it six inches left to right ooh, under the gun. Ooh. Like and it's all you can rush it, and you can't rush it. You, you got thirty feet coming. And you know, you uh, sort of. I'm sure Rory. They said he kept looking back, and he's not a silly guy. He could probably see that Bryson was over there, coin flip whether he's got a chip out or, you know, has a shot to the mm-hmm. green. So. It was just not the putt you want on 18. No, and, and, and he also had missed the one on 16. If he holds one on 16, I'm sure he holds it. Look, that, 18 to me is is excuse. It really is. He looked like he hit a good putt on It's eight. excusable for me because it was so hard of a putt. And the situation, obviously, it's a short one, so he misses. And you could say, oh, he choked. The choke happened on 16, dude. That was... You can't miss that putt. That's two and a half feet. Mm-hmm. Did you see that stat they ran? He inside three yeah. feet, four hundred ninety six for four ninety six. Did they throw that up on, on they, the screen? They threw it the after. Tournament? They oh, threw okay. it after. It's it just like looked like it was like jinxing the kicker. You know, Faxon's his putting coach, and he was trying to comment it, but and I, like I'm not the coach here, but the, the hands. Yeah, I'm good if I kept, I'm good if I never have kept to hear like, Brad Faxon talk again. By the way, I, I, I don't mind him. What is good? What does he bring to the table for you? He's know, wrong. Man. Literally, he was wrong ten <laughs> times yesterday. Early calling shots. Well, he doesn't stop talking. He talks over everybody. He just fills the air. That's why I like him. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, you yeah, know yeah. what I like to do, man. <laughs> he's got red hair. Yeah, is, is that why? He's ginger. He's my favorite go- golfer growing up. You know that from the age of thirteen yeah. to my current. favorite golfer. That. My favorite golfer growing up. Mark Kalkovecchia had a hot take this week. Did you see that? Yeah, is he back? Yeah, he that did. was the shittest take ever. Yeah, oh, I love Kalk. Kalk, Kalk is my guy. It wasn't his best. I also well, so you don't like. Lynx golf. That's like Lynx golf. Look <laughs> at shit. He just said it was overrated and Pine Needles was better. It would be a better venue for the oh, US oh, Open. If people say that Pinehurst is overrated, I'm not going to say that it's not. I like it, but it's one of those ones. It's not. It's not a guaranteed. You just we're all like people. Like look at a piece of art. All art looks shit to me. But you know, people have. It's subjective and golf. Like the rankings of golf courses are pure bullshit because everyone's got different things they like characteristics they like yeah so i've got no problems with people not liking it but you know if you don't like it you you go to st andrews or wherever there's moguls there's bad breaks that's the part i think i've said on here before is that mike clayton said about four years ago after i'd stopped playing golf and i wish i knew it when i turned pro is that golf the second side of golf is the mental challenge Mm. you're gonna get bad breaks how do you deal with it and clearly that was intended when they invented the game. And uh, maybe I heard it eight times and just fucking put it on the back burner. But um, that's the part that I think Kauk 
maybe missing and I feel like some people you, you need to even if it's bullshit you should be thinking that if you're playing pro golf because you're going to get so many bad kicks and the mistake is not getting the bad kick it's reacting poorly to it like I did 97% of the time yeah uh, for me the story well Bryson is obviously the story coming out of this but m- maybe more so Rory gassing it a little bit I mean Rory got to 8 under par dude 6 under won that golf tournament he got to 8 mm-hmm. mm. that's going to be a tough pill to swallow for him he hadn't won a major in 10 years that's hard to believe. Where did I mean? Nice he was one. he was rolling. He's fine. After you think he gets another major? Look, not not that he can, but if he could swap Pinehurst for Augusta, he's going to do it all day long. So, not saying he doesn't want to win. He wants to a ten year gap. But yeah, I think I want to give you. I, 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 I want to give you credit. I want to give you credit too. You text yesterday when Roy took the lead. And you said it'll be interesting to see how he plays now with the lead. Cause, well, it's different. And, and you were spot on, man, because it well, changed big time. There's certain people in the world, and the the one I always think of is Paul Casey. Paul Casey's a phenomenal chaser, terrible in the lead. Two, two ahead going to Sunday, ride him off, five behind, watch him. Mm-hmm. And I'm, not, I'm not saying Rory's that guy. Rory's one from behind, run ahead. But it's different when you're chasing, 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 and you like look up and you're like, oh, fuck, now it's mine to lose. Not saying everyone thinks that way, but that's where I was like, well, hang on. It wasn't necessarily just Rory, but anyone that had been behind the whole time. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, you know. It, it felt like Rory's day. It really, when he was making those starts the day off with a 25-footer, so made a couple more 25-foot. I mean, Yeah, 9, was, 11, 12. Yes. Or, and he, was, he started hitting that bullet driver. I've never yeah. seen that. And Bryson spraying it everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, Bryson... Yeah, that, I, that that's the reason I want him to ball, ball. It's just not a fair fight how far he hits it now, and if he, he doesn't have worst. to pay, a, if he doesn't have to pay a price, right, off the tee. I mean, that guy dodged bullets all day he long. Sort of, you can say he did that at Wingfoot too. Anyone just hit it so far down there. It was obviously no crowds, but bombed and gouged. The old cliche, but uh, I don't know. That was. That bunker shot. M- was maybe because I did play there, there <laughs> ten years ago, but that was an entertaining fucking. It was. Great what a, theater. What a, what Great a, theater. What a transformation. I want to talk about this Bryson guy. I mean, still, I think he has some haters, but he has won so many people he, he, in the last yeah. two months. Dude, it's he, hard it's to nuts. Do. He went from the most hated to maybe the most liked in in a year and he went to live and did this <laughs> yes. you yeah. know what i'm saying that's a great point it's it's, it's bizarre like, like jason giambi mm-hmm. so i played in 16 at oakmont nick flanagan caddy for me because he won the am there and the next year he qualified and i caddy for him at, at Aaron hills and he played with the shambo the guy was full-blown hand job like terrible dude didn't say anything to anyone he was tuffed on his caddy and now he's out there yucking it up have you ever seen someone like doing this no, in the last round awesome. the US Open? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I, 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 I'll be battle with that Cole Porter, all these guys who I think just have no clue. Cause I, I'm not doing the whole elk where you got to be there. You don't have to be there. But these guys act like they've been there instead of being all humble and like, look, I've never been there. But they go all under the last, pr- like they act like they know they're doing it anyway. But they've all said the same thing. It's like that they are praising the Shambo uh, when, uh, they're, when they're used to. You know, hack on him. How about this yesterday? I don't know if, if you guys it's noticed this. On eight, on 18 yesterday, when Pavone hit his putt and it went just inside Bryson's, okay? Yeah, that coin. Well, this. listen, then the crowd starts booing Pavone for, for not, not finishing. finishing. But he has a job to protect the field because he's going to show Bryson the line on that four-footer and Rory's in the clubhouse. Yeah. Watch, and like He 100% did the right thing there, by yes, the way. But did you see how Bryson handled it? They started awesome. doing, and Bryson like backs off and goes, no, do not do that to the crowd. <laughs> I mean, that was great. He was, he was I, I, think, I think Bryson didn't want him to putt it. I think he wanted to like, hey, no, no, I need to hold this. Because yeah, 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 then I, people I, are going to question it. Right. It would have been, been, right been really. It would have been really bad if he worst comes that. to worst. You're in a playoff. You're not losing the tournament there. Yeah, if you tug it, you hit the coin. It kicks to the right into the hole. I, I kind of like that coin down there as a guide as well. So some people were like they're going to miss it because the coin's there, and other people like it because they'll use it truly as a guide, like yeah. a spot. Yeah, like I need to miss this two inches right of the coin or something mm. like that. Yeah, that's a good point there. So you feel like that's a, a Tiger Woods would love it and a Greg Norman would be like, oh, I couldn't hold it because the... It was in my well, line well, of sight. Yeah, well, so then he could have asked Pavone that's a very to move general it. You know, yeah. Keep moving that coin till it's out of my way. You know what the... Yeah, bump- true. You could, yeah, if, if it's in your way, yeah, Greg Norman or whatever, saying that guy, you could move it. Eight putter heads left. Sure. The bummer for me is having to wait to watch Bryson play play golf again. And I know he's playing and live in Nash. Is it this week, Nashville? Should have used Sergio as a better one. Yeah. 
Is it, is uh, it this Nashville, week? yes. But it's not going to be the same. Sergio, um, he's, stu- he's stuck I, around I will to, say, to hug Bryson after the match. You know, you, we can't quantify this, but say uh, 30,000 people are going to go to the Nashville event. I bet you now it's 50. A lot of people will go to Nashville yeah, to see Bryson. Bryson. Yeah, that's yeah, a sure like big the number. No, I'd agree with that. Well, well, whatever it was, it's going to be 50% more. Well, yeah. there's no doubt about it. He is he is the most electric person in golf. And I don't it's, watch it's his... not even close to second. Mm-hmm. I don't watch his YouTube stuff, but it sounds like he's been doing tons of that. I don't either. Do you buy into the whole Payne Stewart uh, thing this well, week? Well, didn't he used to wear the plus fours in the hat? Uh, he just when wore he the first hat. Started, he didn't wear the plus fours. Oh, dude, I think a couple times. I think he, he did. did a couple times, did but really? I also feel like I've heard him say he wears that hat for Ben Hogan numerous times earlier okay. in his career. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, but was it a Kangol hat? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's right. Remember those? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a LL, driving hat. LL Cool J, or <laughs> Samuel Jackson. <laughs> I did put up a few tweets last night, which I swear I've been shadow better. Who cares? It's fucking Twitter. <laughs> well, I got like 10,000 followers yeah. and I get like one engagement. I think back when, you know, you, you I'm, probably have been. I've been, I was shadow better and I haven't come off. Come on, Elon. But, uh, you know, when he said, I want everyone to touch this trophy, I yes. wrote a tweet. Imagine he said that in 2020. Oh I want gosh. everyone to touch this trophy. <laughs> During the middle of COVID, he would have Rudy been. Rudy like, Gobert. <laughs> they would have put him in jail. Oh, that's great. But, uh, I don't know. Either way, it was an entertaining. I thought uh, it was a. But the interview after was a little weird. It, did you? Did you? You guys would. Did you guys say the Johnson Wagner thing? I don't know if you caught that. It's I, as Twitter. much hate as I've spewed towards uh, the the coverage, I want to give props. Johnson Wagner is amazing in that He's role. Born to it's do this. Born to do. I don't know if he brought that role to the guy and said, "Hey guys, let's. Well, why don't you think about this on a Wednesday? Let me go out there and talk to these guys or recreate some of these shots." But he is really good at. It. He's self deprecating. Um, he's a good man, and he, yeah, he's a good. But the dude. fact that he's shaking his chips is he's become like a cult hero. Like everyone's well, and like, also, oh my but God, also, he's one of us. And that's, the redemption. That's great. normal yeah. when you stop playing golf. Oh, like, that's the how first, nervous is it to try and do the that? First shit. part of the game that oh, goes yeah. is chipping. Everyone gets the Tim Flinchams. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you start dragging that handle. <laughs> but did you see when he come down and Bryson comes down? Yeah, they he's like the he starts on air. He's like, man, I used to like basically think you were a douche. He doesn't say that, but that's what he. He was kind of in shock that Bryson came down. I think he was in shock that he hit such a good shot to a foot. (laughs) Yeah. Because he's normally like sculling him and stuff. Yeah. But he's he's uh he's found his niche there, old Wagner. That is Oh yeah. Uh he's a great He's really good at that. It just does kind of feel like a letdown. Like uh, now that we got to wait another month to to see Bryson's show, but yeah. also to have another. And that's my favorite major, major too, by far. U- U.S. Open mm-hmm. always has been. I don't. Uh, it just it just is. I mean, the National Open. It's a test. When so I, what, when what's in, in your rota? What's in your rota? If you if if you had to pick five courses for the U- you got Pinehurst. What else? I don't know, but you look back and you look at sort of the one in Seattle. What was that one? Chambers, Chambers, Chambers. Bay, and you're like. No. What are they doing? And then even Aaron Hills, like, no. what are they doing? LA Country Club, what are you doing? Terrible venue for a U.S. Just Open. Just stick to the the Oakmonts. The blue, yeah. I want to see Marion Bloods. again. Yeah, Ma- Mar- Marion. But I think Marion is, I don't know if they can sell as many. There's something going on why they don't get it more. There's, there's Infra- logistical. In- infrastructure. Yeah, they have a tough time. that the, the, the USJ doesn't make nowhere near as much money, I would guess because they just can't get the corporate tents. Mm-hmm. It's tough. But, yeah, Marion's, fuck, Marion's awesome. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't Wing, know. Wingfoot. Yeah, Wingfoot's good. All that stuff. But, you know, once they take it away. What about West Coast courses? What would you like to see? Well, they love Pebble. I don't necessarily love. Doesn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. Pebble for the, I love it for the Pro-Am. But I, I don't hate it, though. I'd rather go to Torrey Pines. Torrey. This might be a hot take, but I'd rather US Open be at Torrey Pines yeah. than Pebble Beach. Yeah, I love it. Probably a better test. I love it on prime time. It's great for the West Coast for that. But the venues, uh, I feel like Northeast golf is. Oh yeah, the country club, country club's good. Yeah, I thought that was a great U.S. That was a great, great venue. Just, just all that stuff. I don't know. I, I, nothing against Aaron Hills. It's a good course. How did in Pinehurst? That was only their fourth U.S. Open. It's kind of wild to think that. Yeah, like that course has been there for a hundred years. When I walked through, they had like pictures of all the past champions, and it was just three. <laughs> like, where's the guys from the seventies and sixties? Where the clubhouse? <laughs> you could yeah, probably yeah, uh, the, the, uh, walking into the venue at Pinehurst. That would be a good trivia question that I think a lot of people would get wrong prior to this week. Like, how many times has Pinehurst hosted? Not many people would have said three. Did it? I mean, I, I don't even reckon I would have said three. Obviously, you know the one 
the pain one, but you just think, oh, there's got to be plenty before that, but no one talks about it because pain won and then he passed away. So. Azinger won something there. What they had Maybe like a, a world shells wonder for a world of golf or, or something. <laughs> the end of the year <laughs> season right. tour championship. So talk talk to me about Old Town Club. Oh my God, oh, pricey! This is it. such a pricey venue. I, I mean, it. it's on the we, list. We sure. actually we walked um, eighteen. Love it each morning and rode in the afternoon, and uh, it very tough walking course. A lot of up that's and downs. Right. I mean, at least the, the the tees are right next to the green, so that part was easy. But man, I want to start walking more. It, it just yeah. showed me how out of shape I was. I mean, just absolutely gasp before hitting a golf shot. Just out of breath just dying maybe we had a couple of ciggies but when you're playing a good course you go to north carolina you gotta have oh yeah have yourself a camel (laughs) i love it but when when you're playing a a good course i think you do walk it you gotta walk it you gotta take it in you gotta yeah smell it i mean you know when you play we played five rounds so you're gonna play some good golf at some point during that and it's so much fun to just be in control on a course like that green's quick Greens were they just replaced them like a year ago, so they're right. s- still really firm and firm. first bounce hadn't firm. settled into, you know, there, there's not a ton of grain, so yeah. it took me about four and a half rounds to figure out how to putt out there. But I right, so um, as long as you kept doubling the bet, you were good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> came out all right. Did you? Actually, also speaking of betting, that's the first time I've ever bet on the uh, winning. Uh, player and oh, you a had bryson tournament. i had bryson how about that yeah i got i didn't do any plus 2500 nice hit and yeah. we didn't really pick a guy but i the shambo would be my second level i, I liked uh ludwig i liked morikawa i like i i, I, I think i take kepka every major yeah. i don't know why but yeah i was cantley hideki and uh cam that were my three guys going mm-hmm. this week yeah. and i'll tell you what I haven't looked at the stats, but I bet you Hideki out of the top. Uh, did he finish top five? I feel like he did. Yeah. Um, I bet you out of the top five, he putted the worst out of all, all of them. Um, it still blows my mind why that guy hasn't switched but putters. That, but that's why, you know, my, Bryson, uh, I, I loved, I liked Hideki, I liked Finau. You don't have to putt amazing. You, to, you do to win, mm-hmm. but if you're doing those DraftKings things, you know, fourth's good too. The guy that makes plenty of birdies, and that's why. If you can ball strike it, you don't have to putt that good at Pinehurst. Speaking of putting, one of the guys in the on that trip had a lab putter. Yeah. Oh yeah. He made fucking everything. Dude, which one? Which I'm going to see the Rex. Boys. It, it, it looks like um, the spaceship one. Uh, it looks like an, an M or something or. A, I yeah, know. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Um, you could you could put the ball in the back, pick it up, whatever. That thing he made every single putt, and it was like tailor made to his his setup i've never like when i tried to grab it my hands were like below my knees mm. it was just and he's a tall dude he just, you know you know what's interesting is you talk about tailor made to his setup that shot bryson had on the last underneath the tree with his irons bent so upright and his swing being upright it kind of cucked him a little bit there i thought but he was gonna he, shank it he couldn't hit that shot because the tree was if, if you had a normal swing mm-hmm. or were a little flat no issues there at all, like whatsoever. But well, with yeah, him, it was Wagner different. spoke about that. He said he went there and he was able to get under. And then mm. I think, I can't remember the interview, but maybe Bryson brushed it beside. But that's right. Yeah. Like Wayne fly. Riley, ironically, does the uh, Sky. Sky Sports. He, you know, there's famous shots of him hitting off his knees under trees. And you can do that. Like, like this, without being an idiot, it's probably a shot pro should practice because yeah. it's not that hard to hit off your knees at all. I don't know if but Bryson, Bryson, could do it with Bryson couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Those things are bent what about his upright. putter? His putter's Kip Hanley wrote a tweet something that I didn't know that it has to be at least ten degrees. Yeah, Bryson's is ten degrees. What? Yeah, like the shaft angle has it's got to be, be at degrees? least ten degrees. He's he's on he's on the limit. Wow, I had no clue that was no a rule. Way. Yeah, it's a rule. Speaking of rules, question: When when Bryson was figuring out how to hit that shot under the magnolia boy i was getting went, scared there he went there he went in oh, there yeah. without a club and was you know rehearsing is is that a rules infraction if he were to knock off a magnolia well, dude, leaf, if he, if one leaf. took off one leaf and the and those little and he he was in there with a club i was that's when i was but getting before, nervous before he had a club yeah but even when he got a club he went in there doesn't and he matter was taking a practice yeah. swing and he was touching those leaves and i'm like no, no. You, dude one of those <laughs> if, uh, comes off this is if a game. quarter inch stick comes off it's it's deemed improving your, your line yeah so so that's that's so I was trying to explain to my brother. I was like, rule. I can't believe he's in there. If one, if, some, if something drops me. off that tree, 
It's a show. That would have scared me to death. I almost uh-huh. don't. I almost no, wonder if he knew that rule. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I've played with tour pros that don't know that. that but if you do it that on your actual swing, it's not a not a penalty. Right? No, if correct. He, yeah. th- okay, here's here's an example. If he took a practice swing, and then or like started off as a practice swing, his <laughs> club hits a leaf and it falls off, and he goes, "Oh shit, I have to hit this ball now." Yeah, can, and then goes forward from there. Not no a penalty. penalty. Not a penalty. Probably not gonna be a good shot. Mm-mm. But it's better than taking. <laughs> but he was—he gets in so close shot. that thing. I was like, did he? Like, you know what happens when you get in too close? You head off the hosel. Mm-hmm. I was like, this guy could. Shank and it, and you always take it about ten percent further back than you think when you're trying to take. Oh a yeah, short I got a, oh, yeah. I got a penalty in the strain. I've been doing that. I made a twenty really? footer for an eight. I was in like top ten, the tenth hole and well, the ninth hole on Saturday at Royal Sydney years ago. I I I. I uh, like a stake is the dumbest thing. Australian Open, they got stakes in trees, little trees that need to be staked so you don't hit them. Okay. So I was uh, close to the stake. No, I took a drop. Right, I was next to the stake, so I took a drop, and I was I took a follow through, and I was like this far from it. And I, but I like but I like my life. I was like, no, it's good. So then the wind comes up. I took fractionally back in my stance, but your real swing is way more exaggerated. Mm-hmm. And I just nicked the top. This thing doesn't even move. It's like a a dowel rod right? of the stake of the stake it just yeah. nicks it right and i think the i had to get the drop in the initial place so simon majulski who was the agu guy was there he uh by the way i just hit off the tee and lost my ball up a tree so <laughs> i was under the stake for three off the tee so then i get up there and then i chip on hit it, hit it right chip on hold a 10 footer simon's like um heron did you uh, clip that steak? And I was like, oh, yeah, I just nicked on the top of it. On your follow through? Yeah. I said, on, on my real swing, yeah. He goes, um, that's going to be two shots. So anyway. Two shotter? I made a quad. Uh, oh, I don't know. I made, I had, he has a two shot penalty. Man. Did you have an option I had to take four, like. I had four shots, but I made eight. You could take oh. better relief? Well, yeah, you got to take better relief. But then I said to him, I said, well, I was like this far from it. So how would I take relief? I'm not going to hit it. So then, then, then someone could accuse me of cheating, like especially if I had a bad lie, and I'm like, I'm not going to hit the stake. It's like, oh, I might hit the stake. They're like, oh, this guy's fudging. I was like, oh, I'm not trying to hit a stake on my follow through. That's going to annoy me. So I don't know. Speaking of I'm Aussies, still, I still lose sleep a bit. Who was uh, who was low Aussie? This uh, Min Woo. Min, Min Woo. Woo. It was like five over. I think uh, Cam and Scotty were seven over. Surprising. I thought some one of those guys would would play well there. It kind of. Feels like I think an Cam, Australian uh, course. Yeah, I think Cam didn't putt great. Fun little battle for uh, Low Am too. See that, that come was down awesome. to the last hole. Yeah. That was awesome playing together. Yeah, that kid was pissed when he three putted. <laughs> <Claren>. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, walking feel, off the green, man. I feel like that so just heated. happened to him in the uh, NCAA's well, the second, as well. Oh, really? Yeah. The second putt didn't matter. No, it didn't. No. But where, where where does he play? Florida, Florida State. State. Oh, that's right. They were, uh, they were talking about Trey Jones. He won the North South Amateur or something there. He plays for Trey. Is Neil Shipley a senior? I think so. He's still I think in they, they said he's about Shit. to turn pro, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, really? He just got himself a few invites, probably. Yeah, I hadn't seen a low am at Masters and U.S. Open in, in a while. Yeah. That guy shows up. Is he like a stud in amateur golf? I don't know. I don't think he's in the PGA Tour. What's weird is those PGA Tour U rankings. Oh, yeah. I don't know if, these, if you can uh, accumulate points through majors nah. i'm sure you can't well uh, you gotta think there's something in they there should. they should they should but no nah, it's just college it's not like the ben hogan award where they mm-hmm. take in your amateur record definitely gamer though i mean who knows what what's in store for him he doesn't it's really nice. doesn't really look the part but mm-hmm. no nah, i think he needs to change the do i don't think that the do? You need to mm-hmm. take a little come, off that hat <laughs> maybe coming come from the fashionista over here <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while since they've made some oil paintings of me. But. Yeah. Um, How was Camargo? Uh, yeah, that was a great impromptu trip. I did the golf club. Shout out to, uh, who's our friend up there? Yeah, now? Trent. Trent? Trent. Was, Trent. Uh, What's up, Trent? He just had twin boys. Ooh. Got out of the house. I think he was looking to get out of the house. But um, I got a buddy named Trent that's got twin boys. No way. Trent Leon. Trent Coletti. Oh, yeah, yeah. The great Trent Leon. Um, no, it was good. What flew up there. Very smooth, had to connect, got there, was at the golf club by uh, one o'clock, played in two and a half hours, 
rode around there with my friend Mark. That that was that's like a true. It's called the golf club. That is a true golf club. There's no homes. Men's club. I think women can play Sunday afternoons. Mm-hmm. It's like Pablo, kind of. It was, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Squared was... off greens. No, no, not the golf club. No, that wasn't. Oh, sorry. How yeah. many, so how many courses the... did you play? Warrior? Three. The golf club. <laughs> then uh, Clint Averett flew up. Uh, he's got some good friends at Sayota. He plays a tournament there every year. Played Sayota, which has been on my list probably the longest of the three. Mm. I had driven past it when we did the qualifiers and we had the had a corn ferry playoff event at the uh at the osu course so i'd always seen Sciota. um that was good andrew green redid it he's redone oak hill uh um a bunch of courses it takes out a bunch of trees does that where he shaves the back of the greens and it goes into the next tee uh, as an old Donald Ross, Sider was good. Very, and then Camargo was, you know. So the golf club was an amazing, exclusive golf club, peaceful, quiet. Sciota was a big country club. Mm-hmm. Has had the kids doing the camps, and then Camargo is just an old Seth Rayner gym, square greens, like all the templates, short, yeah. Baritz, Redan, uh, just unreal. I love the squared off look. That's yeah, that's so clean. Yeah, I'm going to try and do all those Rainers now. Like, obviously, Fisher's Island's going to be really hard. So you played a Rainer, an old Ross, not a new Ross, because... Throw it out in the Yeah, yeah you like a new Ross and then a Pete Dye. And yeah. then a Pete Dye. And Perry Maxwell did Old Town. I yeah. love digging into, you know, these guys' histories. Yeah. And, um, I'm like a 2 out of 10 in architecture. I was a complete zero. And I feel like a hard, some, of, some of the guys up there were asking about tour players, and I said, legitimately, half of the PGA Tour... Wouldn't know that CB McDonald did Greenbrier. I didn't. I played Yale, you know, which was which was a rainer, which has you know the, you know the Baritz and all that. Where you could park the car in the middle of the one in the Yale and you can't see it. Like I was like, fuck, this is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. I had no clue. You and play then, regionals there? Yeah. yeah, I played in that yeah. same year. Uh, Bill Haas and I were the the extras. What do you call it? The individuals. The extras. The extra <laughs> <laughs> qualified but your team well, didn't yeah the top 10 qualify from the three yeah, used yeah. to be three regionals and then the two best they, they still do individual. that well no it's, it's, it's like there's, there's like yeah. six regionals now six and then five teams from each yeah. go i don't like that you can miss if you're if you are a really good team now with five i don't know why they went to the six venues i don't either maybe logistics or something i don't know but the other old way was fucking awesome. I saw Bill Haas. Uh, he played played what two weeks ago. In he played two corn ferries in a row. Yeah. He, he played, played Wichita this week, this week yeah. as well. Is he is he just doing it for fun, or is he trying to get out there? I don't know. He's still trying to. I mean, he's he's my idol still. <laughs> the guys, the you should seen that guy in college. Oh, just, unbelievable! Uh, had hair. Had no, like there was two nobody two chicks it. in every town. Like I don't want to have his. He's watching. We'll edit that out. Well, um, <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but Bill like, look, look, he's a, he's a, and he's a, he's the best. Ten out of ten yeah. human. But yeah. you know, he had the the. Do- well, I'm not letting out any secrets. He had the documented accident in L.A. I think he was staying with one of his dad's friends. The guy was like, "Hey, let's go for a ride in the Ferrari." Yeah, we know. The guy that. crashed the Ferrari, mm-hmm. dies right next to Bill. I thought that was going to take the guy to the next level. I thought it was going to become world number one because he's talented enough, and it sort of went the other way. So obviously it could be other things. He's got heaps of kids, and you know life comes at you. But the guy, you know, when I was caddying for Kirk a bit and you and see him out there, the guy still strikes. It's so pure. Like he, I know it's crazy, but that guy could come back and be top ten in the world. It wouldn't surprise me. Me either. One, but he's so pure. Love to see it. Love redemption. Ah, <sighs> Maddie. Hmm. Cooperstown. Cooperstown. Yes. Let's get to it. It was a blast, dude. I mean, it was what a cool experience for Liam and, and myself, really. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was in heaven with all the, like the antique shops there, and, uh-huh. the, and the, they had antiques. They, they probably had ten card shops there. Uh, Just old one baseball, on every street corner, uh, pretty much, man. It was killer. <laughs> Any um, purchases? Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? So, yes. Yes. Uh, I'm uh, multiple. Did y'all go to? Did you go to the, uh, the, the hall? Hall of Fame? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Goosebumps. Um, just killer i don't really know if the kids are old enough to appreciate it yet i mean a bunch of 12 year old boys but like we sat there was a 20 minute video kind of an introduction and it was it was just you could you were alive how much time could you spend there like all day all day all day if you wanted you can make it 30 minutes you could make it five hours how big is the the building not very big it's three stories um there's different like 
you know, exhibits and and uh, displays everywhere. Some they have a steroid era. They do. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. do. They even got a. What? They, this kind of made me sick a little bit. But they even have a Savannah Bananas uh, <laughs> display in there. It did. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? This is like putting those YouTube golfers in the yeah, Hall Harlem of Fame." Go- what the hell are we doing parading failed athletes into our agree. Hall of Fame? I got to agree there. The Savannah Bananas are awesome, and I wish I invented it, but they got no place. They're, oh, they're a fun. social media team. Yeah, yeah. They're and all, they're all, they're all, let me, let me tell you something else like that was very baseball. interesting. You know, Pete Pete Rose is not in the hall. Mm-hmm. He was but. all over all <laughs> over it in there, though. They had multiple displays of Pete Ro- Pete Rose stuff yeah. in there. Some of the gloves, he's part of the history. He's the, just not part of the bus. The baseballs back in the day, they had uh, you know hundred year old baseballs, gloves, mm. um, just a, a killer, just a killer experience. The tournament itself was uh, something else. There was some loaded teams. We lost the team we ended up losing to. They had, you know, they had eleven kids. Checking <laughs> birth certificates. Ten of them hit home runs that week. <laughs> um, the parks the are only two hundred feet, and some of these twelve-year-olds, they're really they're thirteen because the cutoffs May first. Mm-hmm. May first. So you can June be, down here, right? Well, for this tournament, it was May first. Yeah. So you can be thirteen and and be playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I, I think. Hair. Well, you're, you're 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 watching some of these boys who have hit puberty already hitting pot flies out of the out of the park. I mean, legit, just skied pot flies out yeah. of the park. I would like. I think it'd be killer if they went to wooden bats there to kind of bring it in a do little they, bit. Two hundred feet's just not long enough. It's not long enough. They don't. They don't use the U trips though. The juice bats. Yeah, they do. You can uh, use those there. You can't use them. It, even the last three tournaments Gibson's played has been. Cal Ripken or something. There's different rules where they got to use the non. What's hilarious? Bat. So there's five games of pool play, and then and then they seed you, right? And then it's then it's match play. You're out if you lose. Mm-hmm. Um, during pool after pool play, you know the kids stay in the bunks there. You can kind of, you can go like check them out and take them to dinner with you if you want stuff like that. We go to check Liam out one day, and there's like two kids showing up with suitcases after pool play, getting flown in to pitch for the. What? Elimination rounds. Yeah, this is. I mean, it's nuts how competitive this thing is. Uh, you shouldn't be able to do that. You should. What have do to you, what like do you se- win if you win? Five, five games ring. of pool play. You should have to play three of them. And let me tell eligible. you something else. There is nothing more douchey in the world than a really, really good twelve uh, U baseball team. And I and it's across the board. Parents, kids, you name it. it All wearing the same they're, gear. They're, they're some of the worst humans I've ever seen in my life. Oh my yeah, God. just brutal. How and much? Uh, good luck. Tons of good swag. luck. Good luck. Ten years down the road, we'll see where. Oh, uh, hold on. What about like four up? years down the road? Like, there's going to be some severe family issues when the kid doesn't want to play anymore, and the parents uh, like, we've put fifty thousand into 50? this. How about a million, dude? I mean, it's a joke. What uh, <laughs> travel sports these days? It's not. It's not. It's and you know what happens? It's a business. You know what happens? You see the the whether it be Deshamba or a baseball's like, yeah, my parents risked everything, and, and it does happen. Mm-hmm. But then like, you don't. There's some of these kids. You don't I, hear I, the I, other seventeen thousand that quit at sixteen and wasted all their money. So you're like, oh, every dad that hasn't played high level sports is like, yeah, that's my boy. He's gonna play the majors. Yeah, clueless. <laughs> it's like, clueless. oh my god, it, it, it's. It's adverse. I think it's the opposite. It puts more pressure on them and drives so them So knowing out what earlier. you know now, how can you capitalize on their stupidity? Mm, you got to monetize I was that. wanting our kids to just beam them on the map. How many fields were there? <laughs> a million. Yeah, they yeah. were all kind of the same dimensions. It's, oh, yeah, exactly exact the same, same setup. And then there's like a championship so, field. What, what are the we, fields like? Is it any synthetic or is it? The sides are synthetic. Oh, I love the but sides. The re- I mean, they're perfect, man. It's a, it is a really cool place. It's, Those all synthetic it fields, is gorgeous. I'm not a fan of the all synthetic. Which a, lo- a lot of people are going like Jacksonville has a few parks now that are all synthetic. The infield. Gets I'll take way it at home plate. Slick. If you yeah. have like all synthetic for the batter's box and you'll yeah, yeah, keep that digging awesome. into the clay. Yeah, but the infield when it's synthetic, that ball get up on you real fast, especially if there's any kind sure. of moisture in the in the the, uh, the imperfection is. What you want? You want the imperfection, like at the end of the game, where it's not perfect and they get the bad bounce. I think so, that's part of the game. So you yeah. could stream this live stream, and my my brother's uh, son was playing up there at the same time yep. as y'all, and we were watching it on YouTube. You could hear every single conversation that the parents were having really? from that team's dugout. Yeah. Like you could hear, you know, yelling at kids to go chase a foul ball, and then yep. you, you know. 
Maybe they start talking about people from start the hometown. My, <laughs> my mom was texting me like, man, those parents on the other team are obnoxious. I'm like, yeah. That's our team. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> we aren't good enough to be obnoxious. Um, it, was, say, it was a blast. I, I'm very proud of uh, Gibson, the team, the AB team, Gibson played on this year. Did The parents were aces. Yeah. Not one. Like, like you get some bad calls, and the coach, uh, Taylor, like, just some of the worst calls ever. He just like... <sighs> And just walks off, doesn't Ooh. argue. I was like, this guy is a freaking yeah. Tool and legend. I, one game we were getting boat raced by this team from Texas. Like, it, it wasn't a fair fight. I mean, these kids all look like they're already on steroids. And our kids, I mean, you know, Liam, he's yeah, like skinny, tiny. Liam skinny looks kid. like a boy. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. um, these kids, they were boat racing us. It was it was obnoxious. And Tool and I had to go. Uh, you know, Tool played baseball in college, high level baseball at Florida State. They're up like nine one on us, uh, stealing, running trick plays, like fake pick, like overthrowing a pickoff throw to second. The whole f- the whole field selling like it went to the outfield. Oh. It's nine to one. We have n- we have no chance. Tools like that's bush league. They're coming back us. We had to go to the outfield because it was about to get. What happens? Get they sh- they, they shame have some on the serious, coaches. Shame they, on the coaches. They have some serious rules up there, don't they? If uh, for arguing or like. Yeah, they the say that. Gets thrown out like they he's not say that, to come but back. we, you know, you, the closing. Everyone stays for the closing ceremony, so everyone watches the championship game. This kid struck out the second kid up. And I, I'd heard that too, Scott. And the second kid up to bat struck out on a. It was a rough call, and he freaking lost it on the ump. I mean, slammed his bat twice. Twelve year old looked back at the ump, gave him like you could tell he was jawing at him. And then went went to the dugout. Nothing happened. Really? Yeah, nothing happened. That shouldn't happen at twelve. That should no, be. But cut. that's that those are be... the kind of kids you're dealing with. There. Yeah. yeah. I love the passion, though. I do too. Jacks <laughs> Beach uh, made it to the final four. Wow. And they should have won. They should have won the game. They lost. Oh. They were down. This unbelievable game. Like it was. It it was really really good. They were down six two. Going in the top of the fifth, they're the away team. They score five in the top of the fifth, set, uh, seven six, six inning games. Okay, yeah, seven six, bottom fifth. They walk the bases loaded, no outs. All right, they bring in a new kid to pitch, pop up to catcher, pop up at second, strikeout, get out of the inning, oh, seven wow. six. Heartbreak. They go, they go three, or they actually had a runner on second and third in the top of the sixth. They don't score. <clears throat> Next inning, they bring in a new pitcher. The guy that just got just him out of the dealer. jam, they bring in a new kid. They get a they get a pop out to first, solo shot to center seven seven, and then the next kid up. These, I swear to God, he hit a he hit a line drive out of the park. Like it was it, the apex of this ball was like five feet over the fence. Walk off. Yes, walk off line drive home run. Nine nine. Thanks for coming up. Mm-hmm. Jack's Beach, that's pretty cool though. They're good. well, they have a great team. Graham's kid. They've got a lot of good teams. Scoby, Scoby's little boys, I don't know, maybe ten year or something. I, they're, they're a good team. He's ele- I think he's eleven. He's years. eleven. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Thomas Graham's kid got thrown, uh, not thrown out, but got called out for diving headfirst that's right. into home, and he was safe by a mile. But they're, you know, it's like, sorry, end of the inning. You know, mm-hmm. not allowed to do that. <laughs> Feet first. I'm shocked. Oh, you're not? I'm shocked when a Graham's it? kids did that. <laughs> is, that, is, that is that a rule? I guess it makes sense because you're going to freaking break it. Had neck. to be one of the coolest. I, I, I mean, I can't speak for Graham, but uh, that I, I did talk to him. Uh, we sat next to each other and watched that championship game. And I had to be like a dad moment. It can't get any better for Graham with yeah. Thomas. Thomas hit a three run homer to tie up the game in the bottom of the sixth inning with two outs. Like that is uh, electric. Oh well, my gosh, that, dude. You don't even care what happens the rest. Well, of the year. what happened the rest of the way is a ch- a girl on the other team hit a, hit a, a walk off Homer on him five minutes later. Yes. A, girl? a girl, two girls were hitting homers l- last week there. Not softball. No. Uh, no, yeah, that's impressive. It was. It really is. And where's Cooperstown? Like Albany's the closest. In the airport. middle of nowhere. It's right in between Syracuse and Albany. All right. Yeah. yeah. I've definitely heard of Cooperstown just geographically. If I haven't been somewhere, oh, you'll be there in a clear. couple of years. Hopefully, you will. Gibson. How far? It's not too far from Niagara, is it? Uh it's a ways. Yeah. I mean, that's where you go and kill some time if you want, or go to Vermont, or go to Vermont. Yeah, I got to go to Vermont. It's another state. Never been. Nope, I'm doing Montana and Wyoming at the end of July, mm. going out there. So after that, it'll be just Vermont, North Dakota, and Alaska. Montana. 
I don't know when I'm going to get to North Dakota. I don't think there's any much golf there. Is Are that you, where uh, the Mount Rushmore is? Or is that no, South, South Dakota. Dakota. It's yeah. it's on the western part. I've been to South Dakota, but the Sioux Falls on the eastern part. It's on the border of uh, Wyoming. Mm. Uh, I it's did do it. Not hey, far from it. I did. I did my 29th baseball uh, park last week. That's, the red. The Reds. Yeah. That was part of the trip too. The great, great American ballpark. Is that what they call it? Yeah, it was awesome. It was. And they won. If packed, 42,000. So Clint and I just got the 500 seats. Did just, Ellie De La Cruz uh, uh, do any good? No, nah, I think he... Who'd they play? The Guardians, so oh. Cleveland. So it was like the Ohio sort of yeah. deal. Um, so it was Who? it was packed. The Cleveland Guardians, yeah. so it was... I haven't heard of The them. two worst cities in, Cleveland in the Indians. United States. Oh, the Indians, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cleveland, Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Fun times uh, in Cleveland. Then again, <laughs> even still our f- Cleveland. Our fish have AIDS. <laughs> so I, I got to do Seattle. I don't know when I'm going to do that. I banned a June's trip next year in June, so mm. maybe I'll try and go to Seattle from banned in June. It's going to be too far away. Do, yeah, I don't know when they release the schedule. You might want to. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just hold on to that for a while. Yeah, I, I'm not in a rush. It's not, you know, oh, well, I'll get my 30th one. I don't. There's, there's gonna be no parade or anything. So, are you going to the yeah, national yeah. park? So, what is it, Yellowstone up there? Yeah, yeah how so you do, are you we're gonna an fly RV? into Bozeman, just renting a car, ten days. Um, friends that live at the Yellowstone Club, and then um, other friends, of course, that live down at uh, Shooting Star mm. in in Jackson Hole. So, stay a couple of days. Drive Taking the through club. The park. Who's the Yellowstone Club guy? You know, uh, Capaz. Oh, Capaz. That's right. Yeah, and then Justin Ryan. There's two two friends. Uh, actually, like I think. Hey, Butch Hofstetter. There's a bunch of Jacksonville guys that are out there. Yeah. Uh, that course is only open for 90 days. Really? Crazy. Yeah. That's amazing. Are you bringing the clubs? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the the Yellowstone, and then what's the one just above uh, Jackson Hole? That park looks even better. Uh, Grand, Grand Tet, Tent, Tetons. T- Teton. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that's so drive Spanish through there. for tits, I believe. <laughs> so you're staying at... I love Yellow- it already. You're staying at Yellowstone? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're probably like five or six days there traveling through, checking out, see how the kids go in the car and that. But it's going to be cool. But then I started looking up, you know, bear, grizzly bear deaths and yeah. black bear deaths. Why would you do there's that? There's fucking like one a year in there. Like Obviously, there's hundreds of thousands of people in the park. But would you rather be a shark uh, dude, attack or a, or a grizzly attack? Oh, probably shark. 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 Like, oh, you, got no, re- you got no chance, grizzly attack. But you're surviving both. No, I, I read this one guy did. A, a guy and a girl uh, like married couple the guy died the woman just played dead the grizzly picked it up another one this guy knew what he was doing couldn't get to his bear spray apparently you got to put the hands behind your neck the first thing they try and do is claw well, they get you on the ground and rip claw your the back face your apart so he had his hands here and he's he was mauled but he called helicopter came it's probably a famous story if you get on the internet but I think you got I think a way better a fucking car I think you got a way better chance of surviving a Hundred percent surviving a shark attack. I don't depends a great white or something. I think if you're like, in, if like you're a, in nature alone with a grizzly bear, there's ooh. a ninety five percent chance you're dying. I think a lot of them. It sounds like if they don't have a cub, I think it's the opposite. It's like ninety five percent of the time they go away from it. They don't see you as a food source. They no, but once they attack you, you're dead. Like yeah, it, once the fight happens, yeah, you got to play. No, I'm not talking about encounters. I think you do have I'm to play, play about, dead. Like, Oof. Um, but I don't want to find out. But then, you know, I did the wrong thing with the whole Lucy, and Lucy's like, I don't want to get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to, like, because I love going. I've been, you know, in Salt Lake, I've done tons of hiking when I miss cuts and stuff out there. You know, I went all the way up to the things, and yeah, you know, like four or five hour hikes. So I was planning on doing some of this, but man, that that those bears are scary as fuck. <laughs> how, oh. how was how was uh, the food and uh, at the the clubs you ate at? Uh, awesome because yeah. the, the food at Old Town was phenomenal like, yeah well the golf club is like a golf club they they just I want to retire there and just have the same day over so and over so that's I was saying to someone that maybe Clint I was like you know what I gotta start playing like Mega Millions or something because there's no way I don't want to go and play or, or be a member at like Scioto for three months a year I don't want to it's hot here in Jacksonville I just want to go somewhere where it's not as hot and it's a you are. sick golf course Going to Yellowstone. You're doing it. Yeah, well, I want to be a member there. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot of money. Yellowstone Club's like a discovery property. Who knows how much that is? Mm. It's more of a ski resort, Yellowstone Club. is. That's mm-hmm. why more people 
join it in the golf is it a, it's a private ski hill as well yeah. yeah yeah i don't even think the golf course is right like rated or anything I don't, i'm sure it's great but shooting star is good it's like the best scores out there you know the pro at shooting star is that guy who, he's really good he almost wins the club pro every year i swear i played with him at like i know many, you're talking about ben something yeah yeah so what about you matty you gonna play any golf i got no clue i'm doing a little bit of tv coming up but i actually kind of got the itch yesterday watching golf i i've <laughs> I, did, I did you know what they should do huh you and wagner you and johnson should be out there doing what he needs a duo just like hitting the chips recreating stuff no, after. they're sorted they're sorted there i'm blackballed from that industry it feels like <laughs> no you know not sure just just hang in there um all right it's political like everything all right you gotta do the radio at nine yep. what time is it it's nine oh two all right great job guys sweet bye we'll see you